The magic continues. The journey continues. Next Legacy Radio is branded after dark. I am branded in the house once again, appreciating all the followers and supporters and the people that's been wanting to know what the hell has been going on, how we've been doing, what we've been up to, everything that is everything. And I just got to say, first off, uh, the, the, the support has been tremendous, not just from the States, but Shout out to all the UK followers and the people that support us up there in Canada and all the all the people out there that internationally as well as in the States that support the Next Legacy brand 10 years strong, 10 years long, and it's going to continue to grow. And I'm just glad I can be back to be able to have my, my guests to hang out with me again so we can just kind of talk shop because, you know what I'm saying, they got a tremendous fan base. And, you know, the, the group itself is, you know, anytime people can mention High Five, they can just remember the legacy. You heard the one track here with many other multiple tracks and even new music that's just still, you know, relevant, I feel, to this day. And 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 it's been missing, man. Like, it's just everything that is, like, fun radio and good music and just the good vibes that we used to have, not just in the 90s, but, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't born in the 90s, but I remember, you know, the ultra electricity that came with just being able to just vibe to good music and just be able to party and play on the radio and just have fun. So, you know what I'm saying, that's the element that Next Legacy has brought for 10 years that we're going to continue to bring, and, and that's why I wanted to have my guests come rock with me tonight. So we can not just catch up on high fives, but also just talk music and just, you know what I'm saying, just give people real deal content. So I want to welcome my guys, not just Marcus and Tristan. I just want to welcome the legacy that is High Five and, and my and my family is live on the air. High Five, legacy stand up. What's up, guys? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. yo. yo, yo. We're around, man. What's We're around. What's, 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 what's going what what hey man hey I'm excited so you gotta excuse my my enthusiasm if you feel it on the radio line because all these listeners out here listening it's turned up crazy but high five is here what's up man we chilling bro we chilling man we glad you having us on your show today man hey hey first first off I gotta thank y'all for for calling in. I got to I got to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all like 100%. I know I had y'all on my on my airways some years back and it's good to be able to have you back on the line again, but you know what I'm saying? I got to start off by asking y'all, look. Y'all know y'all got like hundreds of thousands of listeners like tuned in like crazy, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? They've been waiting like all day. Like, y'all y'all know this, right? Fan base is super turned up right now. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Good news, man. Shout out to all the Hot 5 fans. You know, loyal ones from the beginning to today, man. We appreciate all the support. I mean, it's about the good music, just like you said, man. That's, that's what we want to live for. That's what we want to leave our legacy with, good music, bro. Hey, hey, if I had y'all anywhere near me right now, I'd be giving high fives all day, bro. That's what we do. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> high fives. That's, that. that's what that. I'm just that. saying. Also, shout out to the people out there listening, the, the early active people, you know, true diehard uh, High Five fans. Juwana from Philly wanted to say what's happening, you know what I'm saying? And I want to shout out to, you know what I'm saying, the, the legacy supporters of this station. I want to shout out to Robin and Mike, and I want to give a happy birthday to Amanda Ochoa. Um, and shout out to all the people out there that I know that's tuned in and listening. Sean, I, I, I see you, and I appreciate it. And, uh, I, hey, let me, let me ask y'all this, like, when y'all and, and and I'm just I'm going I'm going I'm going backwards to the '90s for a minute. So y'all gotta y'all gotta allow me to take myself there. So you know what I'm saying when you think about the legacy of High Five and you you remember you know the the opportunities that y'all was given and the and the advantage y'all took, knowing the history of you know how music was just a sacred bond, especially with groups and. You know, you mentioned High Five, and there's Jodeci, 112, New Edition, Jackson 5, way before then. So, you know what I'm saying? Just to be able to still continue and, and push on as a group, thinking about the legacy. I mean, how did, how do y'all feel still to this day? Because to me personally, y'all, I just feel like not only is High Five needed, but the group element of creating good music is needed as well. 
Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's you know, it's a wonderful thing, man. It's it's a blessing from God to be able to, you know, have some unity amongst brothers, you know, to come together on the same page, you know, and like once again make good music because it's it's difficult, you know, when you got different personalities, you know, different egos, different chemistry, and if you can all come together and agree, man, it's a wonderful thing. So, you know, to be able to still do it and represent the name High Five still 25 years later, you know, I don't know, man. You know, not too many people can say it, but we're proud to be a part of it still. I said, I kind of hear the smile in your voice right now when you're talking about it, too, though, man. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Am I lying, though? Like, I feel, I feel no, it, no, though. No, no, like... no. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, I, I'm I'm humble, bro. I'm humble. I've been here since day one. I tell people all the time, you know, I remember when we was a group before we even had the name High Five, you know. So it's right. it's almost, man, you know, it, I don't even know if it's a word for it, you know, because just to be alive still be able to talk about it in a positive light. I mean, obviously we've been through many trials and tribulations. Absolutely. We've been through member changes, you know. Yep. So just, just to be able to be here and to express it with you, man, it's, it's a blessing, bro. I, I can't even, you know, I don't even know how to so, put it. It's a blessing. So so I, I think I know the answer, fellas, but, you know what I'm saying, just the, the fans are listening and the fans appreciate everything that y'all have pretty much endured and dealt with not just the changes of, 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 of membership, you know what I'm saying, but also the, the, the changes of how music is being portrayed now. So, you know what I'm saying, so how how is it that y'all still just maintain just the, the drive or even want to continue to push? Because, I mean, there's so many people out there that's just like, you know what, forget it. I'm, I'm you know, I, I did what I need to do, you know what I'm saying, I got music there that's going to last, that's the, you know, withstand the test of time and and, and I'm done. But y'all continue to move on. So what's motivating y'all right now? Ooh, uh, the fans, man. You know, the fans is motivating us. Um, the true high five fans are motivating us. That still want to hear, you know, good music, you know, and want the legacy to continue, you know. Um, high five has been blessed over the years and continue to be blessed. So it's only right for us to continue giving y'all good music and not not stop, you know. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the industry is looking for new music and, and, and looking for that, 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 that new but throwback at the same time, you know. So um, it's just like, you know, we're just fortunate and blessed to be able to continue to give good music. Rest in peace to our man, Tony Thompson. Uh, Absolutely. But, you know, the legacy got to continue. You know, we have to continue doing the legacy, our, our legacy, you know, High Five legacy, Marcus's individual legacy, my legacy, you know, um, people who have something to do with High Five, you know, from then till now, you know. So it's only but correct that we continue to, uh, once again, give the fans good music and, and all of our true High Five supporters who love the group, High Five, as a group. Indeed. Indeed. High Five members, Marcus Tristan is in the building on Next Legacy Radio, branded after dark. Um, I, I feel like this, especially being a fan of y'all's, and, you know, like I said, to me, it's just like I always feel like anytime y'all can be able to come out with some ill music, that's going to be able to help, you know, mold and shape uh, relationships and things like that or whatnot. It's always dope. So I'm always going to forever appreciate that because, yeah, y'all done saved many of the relationships and gave memorable memories with, with the songs uh, being displayed. So my question is, like, the music industry, though, like, y'all are tackling on, like, a different beast than how it used to be in the 90s, right? So um, what's y'all approach? And, 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 and on the flip side, like, what, what can you tell others that's just really trying to group up and, and become a group, but it's, it's, it's really hard to do that now, not just the pay style, but – also, just the just the uh, the opportunity sometimes kind of dwindled by becoming a group. So, what's the what, what's what's the motivating factor y'all can give others? But also, how are y'all maintaining and managing? You know, despite the changes in the industry. I mean, wow. you know, uh, uh, it, it's make, uh, keeping your ear to the street pretty much, and having you know people around you that's gonna you know not just be yes men, but gonna tell you what's real. 
you know, uh, staying real to what's, what's going on. You know, the music industry is definitely different um, compared to how it was back in the 90s. You know, technology mm-hmm. and everything. Technology and everything makes things different. You know, you got the internet, you have social media. Um, you could pretty much cut out the the, the middleman and 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 have direct contact with your fans, which you know, the fans always like that. It, it, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing too. But right, you know, you try to keep it on a positive level. So it's a good thing that we're able to reach our fans, uh, and you know per se, like, we go right to our fans where we have new music, you know, and things of that nature, which, is, which is goes um, directly to our fans ourselves, you know, and get the music to them. So there's just a whole bunch of different ways to uh, get music out there now, you know, with streaming and things mm-hmm. of that nature, you know. A lot of CDs, CDs are going to be obsolete in a minute, you know. So now, you know, it's all about getting your music on, you know, streaming. That's where it's at right now. So, you know, for all the artists that's trying to group up, you know, just, you know, stay focused and stay one accord. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be some disagreements. But at the end of the day, y'all bunker down and stay as one and move as one, you know, that you you definitely on the right path. And keep God um, involved in all your decisions and you'll be on the right path. Right up. So you mean to tell me that CDs is about to go out like uh like uh you know tapes and eight tracks and you know saying yeah, vinyls you know, and vinyl you, joints you, like that like you know that CDs you, about you know to go that. away you, you, they're about you, to go you away know <laughs> you know that you, 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 you know that with these, you buy cars these days everything's you know satellite you got satellite radio you know you got the the Apple uh, music and all that stuff, you know. Um, right. See, these are going to be gone in a minute. Everything is going to be connected to your phone and, and, and to your car already, you know. So that's why, you know, streaming music, you know, that's where it's, that's, that's where the future is going to be right now is getting your music played like on Pandora, you know, right. uh, Spotify, you know, and stuff like that, you know. You know, fellas, and I and I and I was struggling because you know I'm an old school head, right? So you know I came around the time of the you know phasing out of that uh, of the of the eight tracks and the tapes and you know what I'm saying that the introduction of the of the CD joints and what one, one thing that I always felt and y'all know this because y'all y'all music heads y'all y'all lived through it but y'all was born and raised in it, right? So you know y'all know there's like a lot of memories that came from that. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to emulate when it's given, it's, it's easy to get. And I get it now with the evolution of how social media is and, you know what I'm saying, everything is online and dialed in, right? But y'all remember those times that we had to we had to make sure that we either drove, walked, took the bus, the train or whatever, the child records or, you know, some of them joints to be able to wait in line, be able to get that, 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 that not CD, but the, maybe that tape, you know what I mean? Like, those memories kind of come with the songs at hand. So, fellas, my question to y'all is, since it's given to the consumer, like, super easy now, right, how can we be able to help these 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 people, the purchasers, the consumers, be able to attach the memories along with what we used to do when we was growing up? Wow, that's a good question, man. I you know, I just think it's interesting that you put it that way because, you know, no, it, it, you're right. It does take the effort out of it, and and I do believe that because it's so instantaneously accepted and you know and retrieved. I guess as the consumer, you know, the sooner you get it, the quicker you kind of get over it. Where mm-hmm. you're right, you appreciate you know the energy it takes to get it, and it's like yeah. And I don't know, maybe because we are. I'm still old school, you know, I still have those memories attached to waiting on the radio, right. you know, to record it and, and, and keep it on tape. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, those are, those are good memories. I just think that there's a different element now with, with digital music, you know, and, and obviously now once your music is on the Internet, you can access it easier. You don't have to necessarily purchase it all the time. So mm-hmm. maybe there is a little less appreciation for it, you know, in no disrespectful way, but not to mention you have so much more now. You know, back then you would wait a year or two to release your album, you know, let everybody kind of get it out. 
now you, people are releasing stuff every day. You know, it's, you got yep. so many fucking songs. Excuse my language. So many songs being, you know, that's new. I don't even feel like I'm ever going to be up to date. But, I mean, I just appreciate <laughs> what I can get out of it. <laughs> you know, and the songs that I like, I put energy into, you know, listen to them. And, you know, I keep it on repeat until I feel like I got what I need from it. So kind of different for each listener and, and what they get from the music while they're participating with it. No, I mean, that that, that makes sense because, you know, now it's just it's just different. It's just different. I mean, and and to me, like you like you said, or just in general, like we have to accept that now. It's not like one of those things where we can be able to just go back in the time machine and just be able to make everybody feel how we felt. Like those are like cherished moments because I remember listening to the Kissing Game. I was crushing on somebody super bad. You know what I mean? Like that that <laughs> song brings back that memory. You feel me? So. It, right. it, it's it's one of those it's one of those moments, and I'm pretty sure these kids and these people, you know, the new wave, you know, they'll find their moment and and their time. But it's different because we had to li- literally put in the the footwork in order to go get that tape or that CD or that eight track before us. You feel me? So it's a different game, though. It's a different game. Just like relationships, they're all different. For sure. For sure. High Five is my guest, Brandon After Dark, next Legacy Radio. When uh, What I'm going to do, fellas, I'm going to play Kit Kat because I feel like the listeners need that. The listeners actually all in chat rooms right now. They're like, can we run that track? I'm going to play that, fellas, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to throw a question y'all way, right? Like, I'm going I'm to I'm ask y'all to be therapists because <laughs> I'm going I'm to talk to y'all. Relation, relationships and music kind of go hand in hand because – you heard me say something about, you know, crushing on, you know, one particular person with with the kissing game joint, right? You know, saying I can't wait another minute. That's another one, unconditional love. Another one, favorite girl. It's another one. It's a few of those, right? So right. we going we going we gonna see we going we gonna ask the fellas and the ladies are listening too. We going we gonna ask the fellas can 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 the the, the power relationship moments be saved with music too? So. We're going to ask the fellas that question. So, ladies, y'all pay attention to the answer these fellas are going to make. But I'm going to run Kit Kat right now because I think the ladies need that in their life, right? So we're going to get that to them right here. Branded After Dark, Next Legacy Radio, High Five is my guest. Next Legacy Radio is Branded After Dark, guest High Five members, Marcus, Tristan, all the listeners out there. Hey, hey, <laughs> and I hope, I hope uh, the, the executives from Kit Kat is listening because, I mean, you know, can, can, can we can we get, get these guys – some love right about now. Can we hook that up? Can we make that happen? Like they need to, they need to get a deal, fellas. Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I lying? I, Word. I know, man. We've been trying to, uh, we've been trying to holler at Hershey and them, man. It's like, yo, you know, this this need to be, this need to be some kind of commercial. So, <laughs> hey man, hey man, hey, let me tell y'all, hey, we need to make that happen. So, hey, all my high, all my high fibers out there listening, hey, let's go make that happen because this this track has been circulating for a minute. So we need to make sure that it's not just grow legs, but you know, we need to be in the faces of these executives. So we we gonna make that happen here at Next Legacy. We gonna try to make it, we gonna try to make it happen because. Long overdue. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like I can see a commercial <laughs> yeah. already in my head right now, fellas. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, no, I, I, I see. I see. I see the commercial already. You know, you got the, you got the Kit Kat wafers. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the chocolate <laughs> fold over the wafers and the lady putting the chocolate in the mouth. We try not to get too much, too sexual. With it, but, you know. <laughs> Hey, but it's right on point, though. And not only that, I mean, I think it could be a way where it's universally done. So, hey, you know what? Yeah, you got to be done universally, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 but hey, hey, come on, fellas. Y'all know there's always subliminals in certain in certain moments in commercial lifetimes. So, you know, it can happen. It's funny. What's funny is, what's funny is, you know, is that I go, when we, after we did the track, you know, and we was really, we honestly really went towards um, Hershey and trying to get in contact uh-huh. to get to the Hershey people over there. But we looked at, um, I did some research, and I wound up going on YouTube. Go back to YouTube and go back and look at your uh, Kit Kat commercials back in the 70s. <laughs> That's all I got to say. 
Hey, hey man, hey, you ain't lying. You ain't. <laughs> hey, now that's for the listeners out there listening. But your boy right here already know, already know. I did some homework too, man. Trust me, trust me. They definitely, they definitely, they definitely was very edgy when it, when they did the break me off a piece of Kit Kat. You know, they, exactly. they, they they definitely had a lady with red lips biting on a Kit Kat. You know, yeah, yeah. things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah. You already know. High Five is my guest, Brandon After Dark. And, uh, hey, that's just one of many songs that has, you know what I'm saying? To me, I feel like, especially when y'all put out music and y'all have this, this element about how y'all handle it, I mean, most fellas like myself, like if I'm talking to my lady and we got issues or if we're trying to get into, like, some kind of mood or whatever, all I got to do is put in, I got to put in Kit Kat, and I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or I can't wait another minute, I'm good. Like, sometimes you don't even have to talk. You can let the music speak for itself, right? So now we in an age, and, and like I said, I'm not hating on the age that we're in, but a lot of it is given to the masses a lot easy, right? So they get the they get the one-hit ones, right? But not a, you know, it's not as diverse as, like, you could say, like, a High Five or a Luther Vandross or, you know what I'm saying, not able to switch it up like it used to. So how do y'all feel when y'all literally remember or reminisce on how, you know what I'm saying, not just sex, because, you know, a lot of people say they, everybody can get sex easy, but just the just the slow, the slow grind of the slow love that was made by the tracks. Like, I mean, how do y'all feel about it now versus then? Because it's changed dramatically, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Um, <laughs> I think the mentality overall, you know, relationships uh probably really overrated amongst this generation. I mean, just from my perception. But, you know, back then you you, you were interested in, interested in someone and you took the time to, you know, find the right words to match the situation, um, you know, and it wasn't about hit it and quit it. It's kind of like, you know, what can I do to stay around and try mm-hmm. to be happy with one person? So today, it's, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that's not, I don't think that's what their music is, is preaching to them, you know, and if you got the money, you know what I'm saying? A little shine, you probably could get it. You know, you don't have to say much. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you can just mumble, you can just mumble on the track and be like, and then you're good. And then you got like 5,000 women, like, you know what I'm saying, going crazy for that. But it ain't like how it used to be, man. Like, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you was courting a, a, a young lady, and that's still a word that I feel like should still be used nowadays. and you attach so many different elements of trying to be able to not just get get it, but also keep it. But mm-hmm. we don't we don't share that same sentiment like we used to. I mean, even breakup songs. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, y'all y'all know the breakup songs. Y'all y'all was a part of some of them, or you know what I'm saying? And even those was like you know it made fellas just like drift off and reminisce. You know what I mean? Like. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait another minute is another one. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to get to your lady, though. And it, it was it was a difficult role, but, you know what I'm saying, it even made fellas, you know what I'm saying, just step back. But now it's different. It's just different. It's different, y'all. I mean, I, I totally agree. And, I mean, like I, I have to tell a lot of the younger generation that I deal with, like, I don't think it's – I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just not something that we used to. So, you know, it's it's – a generation gap in there and and we try to get them to see things our way but hey i guess they're used to what they're doing and we have to allow things to change at times right i guess man but <laughs> <laughs> well i mean it's now let's different, look at man. statistics <laughs> it's different i mean like you if you think about it like i don't know the Divorce rate is up, you know, breakups are up, yep. uh, you know, internet beef, you know, people putting a your girlfriend cheat on you, 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 you make blogs about it, you know, you, you get Twitter rants about it. So things are different, yep. right? and, and when you got a lot of other people in your business, you, you react different as well. So, That's true. you know, That's they true. come with the times, bro, you know. 
that's that's true. I guess we gotta we gotta we gotta figure out or filter through how we can be able to uh, you know change the narrative on it and whatnot. But uh, you know, what I'm saying sharing a lot of memories with members of High Five. Branded After Dark brought to you by Next Legacy. NextLegacy.com is the website for people to go check out as well. And I appreciate all the listeners listening. 646-787-8061 is the number to call. And, um, you know, one of the one of the things that I appreciate, just, just the simple fact as far as all the listeners out there listening, I just love the fact that, you know, people embrace, like, you know what I'm saying, what good music really is what it means, what it stands for at the end of the day, because I feel like when you have, like, a lot of elements with distractions and, you know, world issues and things like that, like, you know what I'm saying, you can have a place that you can call home that you can be able to just call in or listen to music or you can zone out. Like, everybody got options, right, especially now. Everybody has an opportunity to go and listen to or be a part of something else that's completely different, but... You know, the blessing in itself is just being able to have a home that you can say, hey, I can vibe to or I can relate, and that's always a good look. And, and one of the things I want to ask the fellas, fellas, if y'all, if y'all really just really peel back the layer of just, like, situations with, you know, world issues and things like that, like, I know y'all know, like, music is a definite distraction, right? It could be, it could be that blessing in somebody's life that, you know, they, they want to tune out with all that's going on with the president, with the world things, this, that, and the other. You know, they put in a, uh, you know, they put in a high five joint and, and you know, that, that takes the pain away in a lot of ways. Right, fellas? No, no doubt, man. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to be even spoken of in that context, you know, where music can alleviate stress sometimes and, you know, mm-hmm. it, I mean, you think about it, it we used to like to dance and, you know, sing, and a lot of elements come with music, man, that helps you kind of get over, you know, your current situation. So, I mean, I I think that music definitely gives us a plateau, you know, to kind of discuss things as well as to alleviate a lot of other stuff that's going on with you. No doubt, no doubt. You can find High Five on all social media outlets by hitting up official High Five, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you go ahead and check out BronxMostWanted.com for a lot of the good content updates, all the music um, archive stuff that's there as well. So tell us, what's up with, the, what's up with anything going on that you have with the group that uh, the, 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 the fan base could uh, gravitate to as far as shows, as far as new music? What's in store with uh, High Five? Well, right now, um, moving forward, we um lock it down, sore dates, you know, um, getting out there amongst the fans, um, bringing them to a happy place in their life where music was, you know, was a little bit different when they was all in high school and playing the mm-hmm. kissy game and stuff like that. So we're coming to a city near you. Uh, we just got off of a off a uh, back to the '80s tour with um. Uh, I would show Big Daddy Kane, uh, Dougie Fresh, um, a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of oh, um, yeah, Houdini, Slick Rick. Uh, Slick Rick, yeah, Sherelle, Sherelle, you know, yeah, Troop, Chub Rock, Troop. yeah, a couple yeah. people on it. Right? Nice, yeah, so we just got up for that, but you know, we're working on getting some more dates. We have something coming up um, in Fairville, um, April, ni- uh, excuse me, August 19th. And we have mm-hmm. something in um have something in New Jersey coming up in September, September ninth. So, uh, we definitely doing that. In the meantime, um, we in the lab creating um new music to get out there amongst all the fans and stuff like that. So, uh, we definitely staying busy. Um, and we're gonna stay out there in the people's faces, man, in the fans' faces, man. You know, that's that's what that's that's our move right now is to go out there and perform and let everybody see us and know that we out there doing what we do and we represent him. One, one thing I respect about the, the, the high five legacy and the brand that y'all continue to create is the fact that y'all don't, y'all don't conform, man. Y'all don't just say like, Hey, you know what? You know, everybody got all the skinny jeans. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that with my group and we're going to go ahead and handle that. Like y'all don't change up how y'all began and I know Tony T's not around anymore. God, God rest his soul. And, and and I know and I know he's appreciating it. And anybody that's a supporter of of the High Five brand can 
can appreciate the fact that y'all music stay timeless because y'all put in that effort and y'all don't, you know, <laughs> y'all don't switch up, man. And I appreciate that because, you know, it be some people out there, y'all, and y'all know it. Y'all be like, uh, why y'all do that? Like, you know what I mean? So I, I gotta, I gotta give y'all a lot of credit for for continuing the legacy that y'all started, though, because. It's hard thanks, to do thanks, bro. You know, it's, it's good to hear somebody recognize that too. You know, because you know, as we talked about, when we talked about, you know, even just regrouping, it was like, man, we got to keep the foundation that we know. And and like we always say, it's, it's the good music, it's lyrics that people can relate to. You know, it's nothing that we trying to do that. It's not us, you know what I'm saying? We, we, it's all about us and what we know, man. That's what it is. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And that, and that's right. why y'all can continue to stand the test of time. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. Oh no, I was just saying, like, right. I just agree, agree with, with what Marcus just said. You know, we have our own lane, man. That, you know, we just like stay in our own. Lane, you know what I mean? And we don't want to go cross over to nobody else's lane. High five has. We have our own lane, our own sound, and our own way of, of doing things. So, you know, we just want to stay true to what we know and what made us uh, who, you know, what we are today. Uh, you know, I mean, but still with a little bit of change, current, you got to stay, you know, you got to stay involved mm-hmm. with what's going on. But at the same time, you can do that without losing yourself. So, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. Amen. No doubt. Amen. No doubt. Hey, when when can y'all come out to the Bay? Like, I mean, you know, I'm here in California, like, you know, massive high five heads out here, like, would love to see y'all perform. So it is just a matter of us as a media folks just, you know, put uh putting a foot through the door of these uh, you know, places and let them know high five is around doing music and to get them out, get y'all out here. Is that what we gotta do? We we gotta put in that little bit of extra groundwork. Pretty yep, much, yep, pretty much. Yep. That's, what, that, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take the two supporters to go out there and let them, let the uh, the promoters know that we out there and we rocking out. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, there's still some people who don't know that we, you know, that, that that we are rocking out. Then you got some that need to come see a high five show, how we do it now, and be like, you know, yeah, yeah, everybody need to go see a high five show. You know, they they do what they do. You know, uh. <laughs> see, I'm listening to my man right now, and I can even hear him say, "Like, see, I ain't gonna speak for him, but I'm gonna say this for him, though. He he's saying that, but he's saying that y'all y'all just sleeping on what could be really real if y'all get to a high five show. So that means y'all people out there got to make sure y'all make it happen. So you know, high five is gonna change people's lives, man. I'm telling you, I feel like going to go high yeah. five with you folks, man. I'm just saying. Hashtag high five, make it happen. It's, it's all good, up. man. It's all good, man. You know, we we we, we excited to to be to be able to you know to 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 perform for people, man. And and that's one of the best things, man. One of the best things about all this is, is getting on the stage and, and 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 performing our music and seeing everybody smiling and 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 happy at the same time, you know, and watch them reminisce to a, a, a time in their life where. You know, whatever was what was whatever for them, but you know, when they come to a concert, they come to have a good time. So you get to see everybody's mm-hmm. joy and, and 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 happiness when we up there singing our songs and stuff like that. It, it's it's a great experience. The energy is great, and you know, I just be, you know, I never want to get off the stage. I just want to tell you this to see the music. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> so that so that high five is my guest. Next legacy is branded after dark. My guys in the building, a couple of quick questions before we let y'all go. Uh, the, the, you know, with the changes of, of times and, you know, as relevant and as much of a factor y'all was growing up, y'all, like, talking about 25 some odd years ago, right? Like, before, beforehand, um, what, what do y'all see now that, you know, could be a, an easy added dose to the game? Like, you know what I'm saying? I still feel like, Groups are irrelevant. Like we we see Escape coming back, and y'all know the history of Escape. I was like, damn, they're never going to get together again. And boom, there you go. Like you know, what I'm saying they're all clicked up now. Like you see, New Edition still going strong. There's a lot of groups out there still making it happen. So you know, what what's what's the what's the thing as far as not just groups, but just in general that y'all see in the game back in the day that could still be relevant to this day. Mm. 
Well, I mean, wow. I mean, you know, one of the things that, that, that that's a good question. I mean, it's just like, you know, well, shout out to Escape. You know, we there was time we used to be on tour with them for did with Disney. Mm-hmm. We used to rock out with them back in the day, but it's just, you know, it, 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 it's you just it, it, the thing is is to is to is to just be true to your group, man. Be true to each other, man. And 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 when it comes to being relevant or what's going on right now, um, mm-hmm. group wise, it's just it's a, it's a resurgence of, of what of 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 the groups that that are now in the studio and, and working because. You know, uh, even when we were younger, you know, our, our parents' groups that they listened to, you know what I'm saying? They fell right. back, and then they started coming back, you know. So it's like everything co- comes back around full circle again, you know what I mean? You just got to get in with, with, with where you fit in at, man. And, 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 and if you still have the drive, man, you know, it's about that drive and that hunger within each other, within your situation, within the artist, you know, within the group, whatever, you know. So... Can we can we eventually uh can can we eventually have a uh see I'm gonna take it back real quick can we have like you know I don't know if y'all did it on a level like that on shows but can y'all wear like glitter suits and you know what I'm saying like sparkly joints and uh you know all five of y'all I mean, do something and you know, rock I, out I, like I, that like, can y'all do that we like to have the, we like to have the bling bling it you know some some blingy blingy stuff going on so <laughs> you come to the high five so you you you, you definitely gonna see some. <laughs> some some things shining and stuff like that. That's, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. We definitely still do, do that, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, people come to see a show, so you got to give them. Sometimes you got to give them that little extra. Now I'm not saying we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get down like um, Parliament and Funkadelic <laughs> and all that. You know, what I'm saying? you know, really, really, you know, <laughs> you know, we'll come out like a character, but you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We have some shiny, some something so that everybody in the audience can see us from all, all, all wherever you at in the, in the, in the, uh, in the venue. You'll be able to see us and know that you know that that's how. Hey, I you like ain't. It. Hey, hey that's what's up. Yeah, do it, do it after uh, you know them silver boot joints. You know what I'm saying? That's a no, <laughs> no bueno, no bueno on stage, man. You ain't, you ain't gonna see that happen. But now the, the, the suit thing. I mean, you know, y'all grew up in the '90s, right? So you know, everything was back. You know what I'm saying? It was sexy on women, too, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? The the, the bigger clothes was dope. You know what I'm saying? But also, you know what I'm saying? Suited and booted. It was still cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? The four tops, temptations. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, y'all are in that lane where, you know what I'm saying? Anything y'all did with the one, two steps and everything is still a factor. Like, a lot of people still would pay to see that. And, and that's why people out here in the Bay, and that's why, you know, everybody in the U.K., overseas, and, you know, all in the States, can can embrace. That's why I want y'all. Hey, get high five while high five is 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 a factor continuously, and just go on official high five on on all social medias and book these guys. Get these guys on shows because I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all out here in the bay, man. Y'all need to come kick it with me, like for real, man. Word. We ready? We ready to come out there? We ready to come out there in the bay? The bay. Yeah, we like out there. Yeah, you know yeah. We, we make, just... sure, make sure we hang out, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. Indeed. I think Indeed. we made some memories in the Bay, yo. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. High fives, my guests. If y'all want to hit them up, make sure y'all go ahead and add them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you go ahead to BronxMostWanted.com. Make sure you go ahead and find all ways to be able to book these guys and fellas. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. We're going to all connect again, not just on shows. Y'all gonna help me break new music here, right? And then we're gonna take callers and we're gonna and we're gonna raise hell like we always do on, on the radio, right? We're gonna have some fun like that. When y'all got some new yeah, music. We, we ready we ready to do that when we got the new music, we ready to help host for for an hour or two or so. You know what I'm saying? That's, what, real. that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Word, that's what's word, up. Word, that's word. what's up. But fellas, tell us, so tell yo, the man, other three I take and, time and, out and give a shout out to my other members, of man, course. Shannon yeah. Gill, Bill Coleman, yeah, yeah. and Farouk Evans, man. Shout out to my boys, man. They they helping us hold this legacy alive, man. Um, as a matter of fact, Billy Coverton, happy birthday, bro. I know you'll be turning another year tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Shannon, Shannon Gill just celebrated a birthday a couple of days ago, man. So yeah. my dudes is enjoying life right now, man. I just want to give them a shout out, man. Much love to my high five brothers, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Indeed. And, and and y'all like grabbed on it right right when I was about to do it as well. See that that's good radio segue, man. Y'all ready for this? Y'all y'all born to do that's this? You know what I mean? Well, so, well, yeah, we, we we ain't new to this. We've been doing right. this for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gonna connect, but I I appreciate not just you but the other fellas. I appreciate y'all staff team. High five is dope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that's trying to continue to uh you know what I'm saying expand the legacy of, of high five. I'm telling y'all, like, all my high fivers, like, you know what I'm saying, like, that's how y'all get down. Like, everybody walk away. No, nah, don't shake my hand. Give me a high five. That's what we do. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Shout out to the whole Bronx Most Wanted team as well, you know. Word up, man. It's Word up. Much love. Indeed. Fellas, let's not be strangers. Let's continue to keep the dialogue. And y'all, y'all play some radio is right here, man. So just make sure y'all keep it locked man. in. And we just appreciate you, brother. We appreciate it. We appreciate man. you, and we, we appreciate all the fans, and we appreciate everybody who's checking us in right now on Facebook. Shout out to all of y'all. We see y'all. We see y'all checking in. We see y'all. Hey, you know what? Let's just give a little back to, to Juana, man. Juana from Philly, man. She she has been a loyal supporter. From day one, man. I mean, much love to her, man. She she ain't changed. She still loves us the same since the beginning. And I appreciate that. It's fans like her, man, that, that keep us alive and keep the motivation and, and the inspiration in us, for sure. Yeah, it's, hey, it's, those it's, are the it's ones so you keep. Fans that, it's so many, fans to, 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 so many people to thank. You know, you got yep. uh, Renee Lynch and, 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 and and you have so so many people, you know, Kimberly and everybody over there. Word, you know, word. We what we, it, it, that we wish we could name everybody, but we see y'all. We thank y'all for being there. Veronica Mack and everybody, you know, we thank y'all for, for, for everything that y'all been doing and all the support for all the years. And we're just humbled, and we just, you know, we, we're just thankful, man. Thank everybody who's listening, all the new listeners, all the new the, the new High Five supporters, throwback High Five supporters, and everybody listening, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All the all the all the day one supporters, all team high five is definitely uh turned up. Fellas, I appreciate it. Stay on that path, man. I definitely appreciate everything that y'all have done and continue to do. So just stay on that path and we're gonna get together. I'm gonna get y'all out here in the bay though, straight up. So we go we gonna make man, it happen. Man. <laughs> and we again, gonna hold you we're gonna, we gonna and, hold you hey, to hey, it, man. Fellas. I'm gonna be in the bay hey. soon, man. Damn right you are. Damn right you are. Hey, right. and again, and I'm gonna say this, and y'all, y'all make this as y'all motto. Hey, we don't shake hands. We high five. That's what we do. That's what's no, up. No <laughs> doubt. No <laughs> doubt. We 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 appreciate you, man. We appreciate y'all and the rest of the listeners, man. God is love, man. Remember that. Amen. Okay. Amen. Indeed. Stay blessed, y'all. That is high five right here on Branded at the Dark. More music and more conversation right after this. <laughs> 